Good morning. The word for you today. Today is Thursday, March 7th, and our devotion today is titled Moving from Failure to Success, number two. Um, our scripture passage comes out of the book of Job, chapter 8, verse 7, and it says, Your beginnings will seem humble, so prosperous will your future be. So, what does this have to do with failure? Well, I think the authors of the devotional series chose Job for a specific reason. So in chapter 8, this is Bildad speaking. So Bildad is one of the friends of Job who comes here to talk to Job about the misery of his life. Um, Job is a wisdom story. Now, what does that mean exactly? In the ancient Near East, this wisdom tradition is something that is akin to explaining the way the world works. That's why the Proverbs are life lessons almost. You know, they, they give you sayings that if you live your life by them, you are doing good in the world, you are doing right. Um, that's why the Psalms have so many praises about, um, about the joys and the fruitfulness that comes from following the Lord. These are wisdom tradition-like texts. And Job is a wisdom book that is all about the problem of suffering. And suffering is something that we all can feel, whether it's pain, whether it's um, heartache, whether it's disease or financial stress, um, instability, um, food scarcity, whatever it is, whatever harm is in your life, that is a suffering that is hard to understand sometimes. Um, I know for me recently, I've been having a lot of problem with pain. Um, I wake up and my body hurts. I take steps and my legs feel like they're going to give out from under me. Um, I lift up a box and my back suddenly feels like it's going to give out. Um, I feel like I'm in a body that's 60 years older than what I actually am. And it's difficult because I can't do what people my age are doing. And it's frustrating. And I ask God why. I find myself stopping and having to beg of God to explain to me why this is going on. And he doesn't ever seem to answer. And it feels like failure. It feels like I'm failing in some way, that my body's failing, that I'm not doing good enough, or that maybe I did something to deserve this. And then I'm reminded of Job. Job is dealing with the problem of suffering. If you remember, Job's entire fortune was wiped. His fields, his children, his happiness was completely and utterly decimated. And Job asked why. Job can't understand what's going on. His friends give reasons saying, well, maybe you did something wrong or you are the subject of a generational curse or something like that. And Job just rebukes them and says, it's not any of that. Like, I am good. I am righteous. Um, and God declares Job righteous. And yet Job suffers. And so the question is, why? What's the point? Um, the reality is, I don't know. And I don't think we can know on the side of heaven. But what I do know is that God, in his book, has recognized that we have these feelings. God has given us a story that, though it's hard for me to read sometimes, expresses the depth of human sorrow and, the, and explores the questions that we ask. I think it's one of the reasons I relate to Ecclesiastes and uh, Lamentations and Job so much is because they ask the questions that we want from religion. They ask the questions of how do we stop hurting? So, what's the point of all this? Bildad is talking about the justice of God. In chapter 8, Bildad is giving a defense of God's righteousness. And he's saying, basically, that if you're being punished, if something bad is happening to you, then it must be because you did something wrong, because God can't be wrong. And though the text says that Bildad is wrong in his approach to it, um, because it says that Job didn't do anything to deserve this, the message of God is just, and God is right, and God is good, is still true. So moving from failure to success, 
What does that mean? How do we do that? How do we keep pushing through what feels like failure after failure? I don't know. I don't, and I wish I had a simple answer. I wish that I could say a magic word that would make it all make sense. Um, I know it would help me, and I can only imagine that would help other people. But what I do know is this. God is good. God is kind. God is loving. God does, God does not set his children up to fail. And God is a God of infinite mercy. If you're hurting, he is there. If you are confused, he is there. If you feel like a failure, he is there. And believe that one day, whether it's in this life or the next, he will turn that failure into success. Have a nice day.